One of the things that's really important to understand about depression is that it doesn't all seem to come down to levels of serotonin and dopamine. You may have heard this sort of seminal umbrella meta-analysis that found no correlation between levels of serotonin and dopamine in the brain and anxiety and depression. However, as we're learning more about neuroanatomy and physiology, we're honing in on an important area of the brain known as the limbic system. This region contains the hippocampus, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and the amygdala. And specifically, it seems to be this amygdala that is one of the more key areas for us to focus on. It's an almond-shaped gland or region in the medial temporal lobe. And the amygdala governs a few different functions. Emotional processing is one of the most key, but also memory.